SAMR is a model designed to guide teachers in creating effective blended learning experiences that lead to a high level of learning and achievement for students. SAMR can provide the building blocks necessary to create the foundation for your blended learning classroom. At the substitution stage, technology acts as a direct substitute with no functional change. An example of this could be playing a cassette tape of your favorite musician instead of listening to music on your favorite radio station. At the augmentation stage, technology acts as a direct tool with a functional change. So to continue with our musical metaphor, Instead of having to fast forward and rewind your cassette tape, you can select a specific track off a CD. In modification, technology allows for a significant task redesign. For example, an iPod allows you to store more music in one place. You can purchase individual songs instead of an entire album. You can customize your playlists and add and remove tracks as often as you want without having to buy a new iPod. You are no longer just listening to music, but in control of the listening experience. At redefinition, technology allows for the creation of new tasks, which until its development were inconceivable. To wrap up our example, your music is now stored in the cloud you are no longer tethered to a specific device. You can download a song one time and play it on your phone, iPod, computer, wireless stereo, or TV from any location, anywhere in the world. Now, let's take a look at how SAMR can be the foundation as you build a blended learning environment by tweaking a very common classroom task, note-taking. At the substitution stage, students may take notes or fill in a worksheet online instead of with pen and paper. They're just using a device instead of writing by hand. In augmentation, students use the research tool in Google Docs to add to their notes and use the comment feature to organize their thoughts. The basic task remains the same, note-taking but they utilize the built-in tools to expand and differentiate the learning. In modification, students use a social bookmarking site such as EasyBib to curate resources and create an annotated bibliography. It is inserted into a Google Doc, which includes hyperlinks to the articles and websites used in their research. Their presentation now includes new elements, such as embedded video, hyperlinks to other websites, and student-produced digital representations of data. The task has been transformed from simple note-taking to student-driven creation and analysis. Finally, in redefinition, a group of students deliver a research presentation to peers in advance outside of class time by pre-recording, going live with a website, or utilizing QR codes to present the material. Presentation time is then redefined as a question and answer session with a back-channel discussion using a site such as Today's Meet. Passive classmates are now active participants in the presentation, and presenters must have a higher level of understanding about their topic to field questions on the fly. The task has been reconstructed to put students in the driver's seat and provide them with a deeper understanding of the content and how to find the answers they seek. SAMR can be the blueprint to a new way of teaching that enables anytime, anywhere learning, and the building of a learning community, supporting student collaboration, engagement, and achievement.